Okay guys and welcome back to another student questions answered and this one's from Neil. Now Neil has uh, a huge file that he downloads from an SAP SAP uh, database and um, what he wants to do is literally go down a massive data set uh, and search for particular values in column A which is a company name. There, obviously in the real data set there'll be lots more values than this, lots more columns. Uh, but basically what he wants to do is scroll down all of this and create a specific file for each of the companies in here. So if the company just appears once he wants to have that line of data extracted to another file and save that with an appropriate name and similarly if there are two or three he wants those two or three lines on that. So here's the code. This imagine is the master data set and you can download this file from this lecture. There are three tabs sheet one, sheet two and code. Code is where you're going to find the code uh, and sheet two now this is where he's going to be executing the code from and this particular macro here this subroutine is attached to this button this run me. So here we have a list so we have uh, Donna's Kebabs, Bob's Burgers, McDonald's Burger King, A1 Burgers, Burgers even and Ethel's Diner. So what we're going to do is go through this line at a time. We've got a few uh, a few variables set up at the top. My string is just going to capture the search string from sheet two. Remember, it's being run from here. Uh, so we're going to go uh, application display alerts false because when we're saving the file, we don't want that little pop up coming up saying, "Are you sure you want to save?" Uh, so we're turning off the display alerts at the the uh, top right here. We're going to turn them back on at the bottom down here. So let's just step through this code. Sheet sheet two select just to make sure we're on the right sheet. Now we will be if we're executing it from here, but I've left that in there for just when I was writing the code. So let's go through. So we've picked sheet two. If we weren't already on it, we're going to pick range A2, which is where our first value that we're looking for lives. Then we're going to step through. We're going to assign whatever value is in A2 to the variable my string. So my string now uh, now holds the value Donna. Uh, Donna's kebabs, very imaginative name. Now the next thing we're going to do is use the application worksheet function countif and we're going to look at sheet one in the whole of column A for the value my string because if the value doesn't exist we don't need to do anything else we just need to loop down and move on to the next one. So Donna's kebabs when we do that and we hover over X we can see that Donna's kebabs doesn't actually appear in that list. So if X equals zero that is I have no match F8 move down the cell and then move down here to our next loop and come back up. And we're just going to keep looping until we get to the bottom of this and our blank cells reached. So let's now overwrite my string with the new cell value, Bob's Burgers. So Bob's Burgers. And we can see by hovering over the X that Bob's Burgers appears three times. So we've bypassed this zero because we do have an entry. And then what we're going to do is open the template file. Obviously you'll need to change the path and the file name, but here we go. Now that's off screen a little bit, so let me just drag that over. So here is our new open file, and I'm going to try and do this so you can actually see everything. Uh, you should be able to see it from there. Okay, so now we've, we've just opened this file, we're going to come back and activate this workbook. Boom, so now we're back over here. Now we're going to get to sheet one because this is our master data set and we're going to go to the very start of the range. Notice we have titles in row one. So A2 select and we are looking for my string Bob's Burgers. So we have Bob's Burgers just there. So again we're going to loop through until we get to the bottom of this data set and we're going to say if the active cell top value doesn't equal my string move down one. So we're looking for Bob's Burgers and the active cell value is Bob's Burgers. So we're going to jump straight to our else. Now what we're going to do is say with the active cell entire row dot copy. So here we're going to copy the whole of line two. Let me just shrink that down a bit so you can see what happens here and see if I can make that a little bit wider. There you go. So back to here. So the active cell entire row dot copy. 
which is over here, this entire row, and we're going to copy to the workbooks master template, which is this one, sheets one, just in case we had more than one sheet, range A10,000, which is way down at the bottom. Then we're going to go end Excel up, which is going to take us right up to cell A1, and then we're going to offset by one row. So our first blank cell is where we're going to copy that data to. So when I hit F8, there you go, you can see Bob's Burgers 5000, it's just copied the entire row from here. Then we're going to move down a cell and then we're going to loop. So we still haven't reached a blank cell, so my strings Bob's Burgers, active cell is McDonald's, that's not right, move down one, you can see it's moved down one here. And we're just going to loop through till we get to Bob's Burgers again, there we go. So now we're back over to here. So now Bob's Burgers is 100. Copy the entire row from the active cell and copy it to Sheets 1, range A10,000. Excel up and down one cell. That is here, our first blank cell. So we're going to move down and then we'll go all the way through until we get to the end. Bum, 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 bum. And I think we've probably got there almost now. Okay, so now we're going to select the master template, which is this sheet here. We're going to auto size range A, B, so we're going to uh, make these the, the appropriate column width. Boom. We're going to create a save file name. The save file name, I stole this from your code, by the way, Neil, uh, but I've put the dates up front, so we're going to have year, 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 month, month, date, date, space, dash, space, my string, which is Bob's Burger, so you know which file it is, .xls. So we've built that string, and now we're going to do the save as. Now I'm saving it to uh, C users Alan desktop my folder save files and my save file name, which is now going to be called 20170525 Bob's Burgers. And then I'm going to close the active workbook, which is this one. I'm going to go back and select sheet two, and I'm going to move down the cell, and then we're going to go back to the top of our loop. And that's going to go all the way through. And let me just, I'm just going to play that out now. So that's going to go through each of those values in sheet two and bring us back there. Now, if I just open that folder, if I can find it, bear me just one second, you'll see that in our saved file, here we go, in our saved file, we now have today's date, space, that space, and we have a file for A1 Burgers, Bob's Burgers, Burger King, Ethel's Diner, and McDonald's. And if we open any of those up, and put them in shot you can see that it's done just that okay hopefully that helps as always if you have any questions just let me know thanks very much and have a good day